Now, Mozambique is set to appeal a South African High Court decision to extradite former Finance Minister Manuel Cheng to the United States instead of his home country. The U.S. and Mozambique have both requested Chang's extradition. This is in connection with his alleged role in a two billion U.S. dollar debt scandal. The decision that Chang be extradited to the U.S. will test Pretoria's relations with Pretoria. Let's discuss this now with uh, Borges Nyamire, a researcher on Mozambique with the Institute for Security Studies. He's joining us uh, here on the Media View this hour. Borges, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, uh, for your time. Welcome to the Media View. I guess uh, many people would say they were, they're not surprised that uh, the uh, Republic of Mozambique does not accept the High Court uh, ruling here of Johannesburg to extradite Mr. Chang to America. I mean, some people say it's not surprising. Yeah, good, good afternoon, Dan. Uh, I think I'm not surprised because Mozambique never wanted uh, Mr. Chang to go to the United States of America uh, for several reasons. But maybe the most strong reason Mozambique doesn't want it is uh, Mr. Chang who was the Minister of, of Finance in Mozambique for 10 years. So having him in the United States, uh, government of Prelim here in Mozambique, they think Mr. Chang will blow more than what he knows regarding the hidden debt, but too much secrecy, too much state secrecy. So I think uh, this is the main reason. And I think Mozambique will fight until the last circumstance to prevent Chang from going to the United States of America. Yeah, I'm going to be speaking to Adriano Nuvunga after 4 o'clock this afternoon. He belongs, of course, to the forum, uh, the forum uh, that monitors the budget there, which is a civil society organization. They brought this case there. They believe that if Mr. Chan is extradited to Mozambique, justice will not be served. Uh, I share the same view uh, simply because uh, in 2018, uh, 18, when Chang was arrested in South Africa under U.S. warrant arrest. He left Mozambique while he was MP. So Chang was here in Mozambique as His Excellency, using Mozambican diplomatic passport. Mozambican authority did not arrest Chang. So he was a free man here until Americans arrested him. So I don't believe that the things did change too much that now Mr. Chang will face justice. And let's understand that facing justice is not simply going uh, to sit uh, before the court and answering the question, but it means that the justice must be effective in terms that uh, this is not, you know, a just fake justice. Uh, government of Mozambique will say that, okay, we have ongoing trial in Maputo now, uh, including uh, some high officer from the government and then the question, is this justice effective? How about the asset recovery? This cannot happen in Mozambique because we are here in Mozambique under authoritarian regime. So people belonging to the ruling party, they face, they have impunity. They enjoy, you know, impunity. So nothing happens with them. So you don't believe and from your analysis that if Mr. Cheng were to be brought to Mozambique, and arrested and charged, uh, he, he won't get a, a trial that will satisfy those who are calling for, for, for justice. I mean, a hidden debt of two billion US dollars is quite a handsome chunk of money. Yes, the, according to the American enactment, which is the only one that has been seen, uh, Mr. Chang got seven million USD for his role of signing the state of guarantee to allow the contracting of hidden debt. Uh, the issue is that Mr. Chang, if he come to Mozambique, he will be arrested, no doubt on that. He will stay in jail for some few months or even years. He will be tried, but the trial won't be effective. The trial won't be effective in terms of allowing, first of all, the asset recovery. Secondly, uh, allowing that he can reveal all the information that he knows about the hidden debt scandal. Because Chang was the Minister of Finance, but he was not the big boss. The big boss is the former President Armando Miligibuza, who has not been inducted. So he's still too powerful. And if Chang goes to the United States of America, it will be possible to reveal information that will lead us as Mozambican to understand what happened in fact with this 
a hidden depth. Borges, my understanding from what you've just said is that Manuel Chang is alleged to have signed off the state guarantees for this huge loan of two billion US dollars. How could he do so without national parliament uh, approving it and without the head of state, President Armando Emilio Gebuz, approving it? And also, I understand that part of the money was meant to help the maritime, the Navy, the Mozambican Navy, in terms of buying some boats. And the Minister of Defense at the time was Mr. Philippe Nussi, who today is the president. I mean, is there concern that if therefore he's tried in America, he will actually implicate, implicate the former president, Armando Gebuza, and the current president, Philippe Nussi? Yeah, you are correct, because Mr. Chang, uh, was an important uh, person, uh, but he was not the boss. The big boss was Armando Emilio Gebuza, who was the president of Mozambique at that time. And let's understand that when we're talking about the president in Mozambique, we're talking about someone uh, very, who has too much power that can be, you know, said to be the king. So how can a minister uh, sign state guarantee to implicate the country in two billion USD debt without telling the king. That's not possible. The parliament has not been informed. That's why we call it hidden debt, because it has been hidden to the parliament of Mozambique and to other institutions that, by the law, were uh, required to know it. Uh, coming to the current president of Mozambique, who was the minister of defense, uh, also he got payment from Privyvest, according to Privyvest itself. So he got one million USD payment, uh, he got a vehicle that he utilized it for his campaign, electoral campaign, in 2014. And look, our current president is not sitting before the court to answer for his, you know, for his wrongdoing. So Mr. Chang is just a scapegoat. That's why if he comes to Mozambique, he will simply protect all his bosses, including the former president, the current president. That is what I, I understand. But also let's say that the ruling party, Frelimo got 10 million USD of bribe from the same company. No one from Frelimo is sitting before the court to answer for it. So look, this is just playing. The justice in Mozambique is just playing with Mozambican people. That's why if you, you know, do what is said to be vox pupil and listen to Mozambican people, the majority will tell you, let Chang go to United States so that we can at least have clear information about what happened, because in the U.S., the justice will be uh, effective. Thank you very much. Borges Nyamira, a researcher on Mozambique with the Institute for Security Studies. Very clear views there that he's also expressing, and also what are people saying on the ground. Mozambicans, uh, apparently, many of them say, no, do not extradite Mr. Chang to Mozambique. He must go to the U.S. as already approved or ruled by the Johannesburg High Court here in South Africa. But the Mozambican government is going to appeal now. They are coming straight to the Concord in Bramfontein.